Nami Wallet is a Cardano blockchain wallet that you can use to link up to every dApp on Cardano and to send and receive funds and also hold and view NFTs as well. So if you want to trade NFTs on Cardano, then Nami might be a convenient wallet to use because you can just get it set up on your Chrome browser uh, and then get your NFTs and view them in there as well. So in this video, we'll look at getting set up with a Nami wallet, getting it installed, getting some ADA coins into our wallet, delegating those for some passive income uh, and then linking up with some dApps as well so check the description for all of the timestamps for each section um, and some other helpful videos including my investor course if you want to get serious with crypto investing go and check that out link in description so let's come over to the nami wallet then and this is on namiwallet.io so uh, you can either go to the chrome store or nami wallet and actually download it on chrome brave and edge i'm going to go chrome for here um, you can read this in your own time it just tells you what nami wallet is um, and essentially why it's kind of better than using Daedalus. Daedalus and Yoroi are also going to work. Nami though is a little bit better if you want to hold NFTs and it's right in your Chrome browser. So let's just go click on Chrome. It'll take us through to the Chrome store. Just make sure that you're on the, the correct wallet and that it's uh, not a fake one. You can see it has 60,000 users. So I'm going to click add to Chrome right here, add extension. That's just going to download uh, and be installed on Chrome. Just go up to your extensions tab in Chrome and then you will see Nami wallet. It should come up like this and you have two options. The first is to create a new wallet and the second is to import another wallet. So if you already have a Cardano wallet on Yoroi or Daedalus, you can actually just import that wallet here and use it with Nami. The reason why you'd want to do that is because you might have some ADA in there or some other tokens and you can basically just see that wallet on the blockchain. You don't need to keep it with Yoroi because the wallet itself is on the blockchain and you can access it through different uh, applications, one of which being Nami. Nami say not to do this. If you come and read this down here, it says there might be some problems if you're using the same wallet with two different applications on the same computer. So if you've got Yoroi on Chrome and Nami on Chrome, that are looking at the same wallet, there might be some issues. So just to keep that in mind, you can do it if you want, or you can just choose to create a completely separate wallet. I'm gonna go new wallet here, and then it says create a wallet. Make sure there's no one watching the screen while the seed phrase is there, I accept and press continue. Now, what you can't see right here is the seed phrase. The seed phrase is a list of 24 words, and this is the access to your wallet. So write this down somewhere extremely safe, Keep it safe, tuck it away. And if anyone finds this and then uh, logs in using this information with any wallet, they will have access to all your coins and everything that you put in the wallet. So this is extremely important just to keep safe, write down. If you uh, forget your password or you need to install your wallet on a different device, you're gonna need this seed phrase. So write this down and once you've done that, Nami will then ask you to re-input all of those words in the next step. So put them in and then create a name for your wallet, anything that you want, and a password to log in. So this is different from your seed phrase. This is a password that you use on this specific Chrome browser to log in and open up the application itself. So once you've done that, it should actually let you in and look at the wallet right here. So this is what it should look like. You haven't got any aid in here right now. You can go to the settings and you can see create new account. You can actually create a second wallet within this application. So that will be a brand new Cardano wallet different address and you can use that separately but all in the nami application you can actually connect a hardware wallet as well if you have a trezor trezor or a ledger you can actually connect these click on connect hardware wallet it will take you through to that setup so if you have that hardware wallet and you have some cardano on there just plug it into your computer you can set it up easily um, through that so you can actually spend and keep your coins on your hardware wallet and then spend them through nami Another setting that you might want to use is whitelisted sites. So for example, if you know that you use CNFT or you use spacebuds.io or something like that, you can actually whitelist those sites, which means that they'll be listed in your whitelist and you won't have to confirm them every single time that you visit them. So as we come out, what we can also do is actually uh, delegate as well. Uh, and this is for staking. So you can earn some passive income but we'll need to get some ADA in uh, our wallet first. So we'll go ahead and do that.
I'm gonna use my Binance to actually transfer some ADA coins over to my NAMI wallet um, and then get them in the wallet so we can use them. If you don't have Binance or an exchange uh, set up that you can get ADA in, I'll link those below so you can use those to buy some ADA. So one of the things you're gonna to have to do is get the address, the wallet address for your NAMI wallet. So I'm gonna click on receive right here and then you can see down at the bottom, we have a, a copy and a QR code. So if you're using Binance on your smartphone or any other exchange on your smartphone, really easy to just scan that and it's gonna import the address. You won't have to do anything. The actual address is below this. So I'm just gonna copy right here. Address is copied. Come back to my Binance account. Just paste that in here. Now I will choose the, uh, the ADA network. We don't want any other networks to send this through. So the Cardano network is the one we want. And then we can just choose how much uh, we actually want to withdraw right here. So let's say 80 ADA like this, pay one ADA as a fee for the network, press withdraw down here, and that'll take a few minutes to actually go from my Binance account over to the address that I chose, which is my NAMI wallet right now. So that's gone through now. It took a few minutes to get from Binance over to my Cardano wallet. And you can see that right in your NAMI right here. So uh, what we can see is that I've now got 19. ADA and that's currently valued around you know $30 so what we can do is come down to our history down here and you can actually see this transaction now so I've only got one in my wallet if you click on here uh, you can see the transaction hash this is the the ID of the transaction so what you can do is click on this and go through to I think Cardano scan yep and you can see the transaction hash um, so the ID of the transaction that happened, which block it went through in, and how many confirmations it had during that. So 33 confirmations is you know quite high on Cardano. Um, other information like time, and also how much you paid in fees, which was uh, about 0.2 Cardano. So really good to see that information. Um, and you can see all of your transactions in that history here. So now what we wanna do is actually go ahead um, and stake that in a stake pool. And you can do that in NAMI, it's a little bit different. If you use Yoroi or Daedalus, you can choose any stake pool that you want. With NAMI, you kind of have to use the, the stake pool of the people that actually um, invented NAMI. So you can come to delegate up here and you should have some ADA in your wallet now. Then what you'll see is that you have a stake registration, which is two ADA and then another small fee as well. If you want to delegate, just put your password in that you created when you actually created NAMI wallet. So make sure you remember that. Um, and you can put that in and then press confirm. You'll pay those fees and then you can choose how much of your ADA that you have basically staked in there. So usually what happens is it takes all of your Cardano and just stakes it all in a stake pool. Um, you will actually be uh, delegating to the Berry stake pool. That is the owner of uh, NAMI wallet, the people who created it. With Cardano, you don't have any lockup. So if you wanna take money out of the stake pool, it happens instantly. So you might as well just stake and get all of those rewards racking up. And then when you do wanna spend your tokens, you can get them out straight away. Next, you'll want to connect your NAMI wallet to any application that you wanna interact with that's built on Cardano. So as an example, this is SpaceBuds, which is an NFT set, but also a marketplace for those NFTs. So come up to the top right-hand corner of any application, just click connect. It should recognize that you have NAMI wallet installed. Um, if it doesn't, maybe close your browser, refresh everything and um, see if that works. But you can see it recognizes NAMI wallet for me, so I'm just gonna click access. And then as you can see in the top right hand corner now, my NAMI wallet is connected to SpaceBud. So what I can do is come into the application, whatever that may be, it might be an NFT marketplace, might be a DeFi application. Your NAMI wallet is connected and you can see up here, you can essentially uh, use all of those funds in the various ways that um, you can use funds with ADA. Just as another example, let's go over to CNFT. CNFT is a little bit different. You have to sign up for an account first with CNFT. Do that with your email address. Um, and then what you have to do is come over to the top right hand corner. You'll see your account right here. Come down to wallets and then click add wallet. When you click add wallet, it will go through this process of signing up. So what you'll need to do is actually use your NAMI wallet to send a transaction to the address that you can see down here. If you want to link it up with CNFT specifically, this is unique to CNFT. This amount of Cardano ADA, you will need to send over to CNFT to link it up. So what you need to do is copy this address 
So you've got that here. Then you need to get your NAMI wallet up. So I've got that right here and you'll have to uh, press send. So press send and then you can put the wallet address in here. So paste that in uh, and that's where you'll be sending it. And then you need to um, show how much ADA that you're gonna send. So come back to this payment amount and this exact payment amount you'll have to put in here that you're sending across and then click send. This is only for CNFT. It is so that you can link up your wallets. It's the same for every blockchain. You need to essentially send one transaction to connect the wallet and the application. So you can do that on CNFT. You can see there is a time limit. You can just send that over. And then what happens is that they'll actually send you some ADA back as well, minus transaction fees. And then you've confirmed your connection with NAMI wallet and CNFT. As you can see, CNFT only allows NAMI wallet for now. So that is how you link up NAMI wallet and CNFT. That's the basics of installing NAMI Wallet and then you can use NAMI across all of Cardano in various different ways as well. If you wanna know way more about Cardano, some more videos are listed in the description. If you want to know how I invest uh, and do this full time with cryptocurrency, uh, then you can look at my crypto investor course. I'll link that in the description as well. Um, but follow me on Twitter otherwise. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.